Welcome back, people of Tamriel. I'm Zetercraft1212, back with another Skyrim video. And this time is going to be a, a little bit different. No mods, no let's play. Instead, I've had a request from Alzario Official, and he wants to know how to find an amulet of Akatosh. As I've actually had this problem before myself when I was trying to complete my Hearthfire house. So I'm going to go through a couple different methods, and we're going to start out with the way I found my first amulet of Akatosh. And you may have noticed this man is not looking so hot, and he's just a regular guard, and in his inventory he has an amulet of Akatosh. Now, guards will spawn with usually they will not have any sort of amulet on, but they can spawn with a random DD amulet, and they will be wearing it. So, if you kill enough guards, which is free money, arrows, and just all around fun, but anyways, if you kill enough guards, you'll eventually find an amulet of Akatosh. Now, wait, why am I leaving? The second way that I have come across is that you can actually buy it. Although I'm not sure like what the percentages are of the people actually having it. But here in Solitude, there is a shop called the I'm not even gonna try until I read it. Like it's over here. The Radiant Raymond. Raymond. Come on, I didn't want to read it said wrong. Anyways, Why, hello. they Here to buy. can you sell to amulets, but it's very rare from what I can tell. Going through the eight. See, like, here's Amulet to Bella, Zenithar, but no Akatosh. Now, it's random just like the guards. So, eventually, if you try, Finally. like, as many. Just try as many times as it takes. Now, here's a trick. If you kill Spare some gold the shopkeeper, like, well, first save, then kill the shopkeeper. Then when you reload the save before, their inventory will be refreshed. And then you can just do that over and over again until an amulet of Akita shows up. I have our dragon follower with us, but he's kind of freaking out, Falakar here. Because he's used to being a dragon and he thinks he's too fat to fit through this place, even though he's in human form. Now the third way requires a totally separate mod called the Dragonborn Crafting Hall. And this is basically a room that adds whatever you would need for the crafting of anything you could ever want. And I've done a separate video on this in the past, back when I was more new at being a YouTuber and I showed off all of its features but in this I'm just going to show the chest where to find the amulet if we look at this bow so the Dragonborn Crafting Hall is over by Riverwood and it's free, it's not locked if I can remember which chest it is here clothing and jewelry respawns and in here, it should have an amulet of Akatosh. Now, sadly, they are not in alphabetical order. And I'm going off of the pictures anyways. There we go. Amulet of Akatosh. Boom. And for the final way, if you are playing on PC and are okay with cheating because you tried everything else, open up the tilde and then type in help. Akatosh, and then it'll present you with all of these things, and if you notice the Armo Amulet of Akatosh, so then simply type in player.addItem, the code for the Amulet of Akatosh, and 1, and you have the Amulet of Akatosh. You can also do player.placeatme, and then it'll fall out of the sky. And there you go, four different ways to obtain an item that should not be that hard but it's just kind of a random chance sort of thing. So there's no, oh man, the frames are not strong with this one. So there's no like proven method to get this item easily. 
but you can buy it and just kill a bunch of guards, which is how I did it, because you get a bunch of money, get free steel arrows, and you level up sneak and archery, so, you know, it's a win-win. People die, you get better. And isn't that what Skyrim's all about? But, anyways, until the next one, bye.